Uh, do you know what happened to that man? He disappeared again. I what was, was able name? to find another resource, and he disappeared, and I have to look in my files to find his name. You don't remember his name? No. Um, did you ever talk to the guardian at Lightham to verify, to see if there was another side of the story that maybe this man didn't tell you? He brought his entire court file with him. He oh, he did? He brought all of his records with him. I looked at the whole thing, yeah. Oh, Okay. Uh, generally, I do not help anybody if I don't see their files. I can't make a decision as to what would be best for them, you know, what advice to give their attorney as far as what strategies to employ unless I see the case file. Is there an underground railroad going on with children leaving America? There is an organized effort to protect children from the seizure of state agents in this country. There is um, a large number of people who help parents with their flee, flee their homes and their states because the state is coming after them to seize their children. I will illustrate a case. The woman's name is Taylor McLaren. And she contacted me at the very beginning while she was living in Utah and Oregon issued an order that she had to surrender her children to them. And because she didn't have the money to hire an attorney, she fled. She has appeared on the Missing and Exploited Children website stating wrongfully that the children are have been stolen from the custody of the state of Oregon when they didn't live in Oregon. They how, are using, how could the Oregon get authority to issue such a warrant when the kid, children never lived there? The, the mother did live there, the oldest child was under the jurisdiction there, but the mother moved across the state line to Utah when, when, the, when Oregon did not have jurisdiction over the two younger children. They had not brought them into the court process. The older child was in the court process because out of control. So um, the mother then moved to Oregon in order to protect the other two children, or moved to Utah to protect the other two children, and then Oregon upset that she had moved, she has a right under the Constitution to do so, decided that they wanted to take her other two children so that they could control her better. She fled. She is in hiding. I do not know where. I do not run the underground. Okay. I know of it. Does this underground operate in more states than just the western states, do you know? This underground operates nationwide. How many children do you think have been smuggled to Canada? Would you just guess? I know personally of three cases, I, um, I, and these people have personally been in contact with me. Um, I don't know how many other parents have done it, uh, I can't say. Okay. Is there any other issue you'd like to discuss that I have, you have or another case? Are fathers generally the, the subjects of false abuse charges? I'm not, I, you know, I haven't found that it's fathers or mothers more than the other. Um, what I have found is that generally when this happens, we have a parent who chooses to exert some kind of a control. Generally, it results from the fact that the spouse is leaving them. And the only way that they can continue to exert control over this other person, their, their boyfriend or girlfriend or their, their husband or wife, after the separation is to maintain control of the children. These people show no compunction about using the children as pawns and tools in order to continue to exert control over a person who wishes to leave that abusive and controlling relationship. And this should be something that should be evident to judges, guardians at litem, and social workers who are involved in these kinds of cases so that they can protect the children from being manipulated like that. Problem is, the state is just as guilty of manipulating children in the same way for their own purposes, too. Would you say the state has more power and more money to manipulate the children? Oh, the state has immunity. They have unlimited resources. They.